There's a problem that scientists have been trying to solve for more than 50 years. It involves creating complex mathematical algorithms on supercomputers, simulating physical forces on the molecular scale, and decoding the biological language of life. Solving this problem will lead to breakthroughs in drug design, the creation of a universal flu vaccine, and curing diseases like HIV, cancer, and COVID-19. This is a protein folding problem. All living organisms like bacteria, plants, and cell con are made of many small molecules called proteins, the building blocks of life. Proteins come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, which determines what the protein does or its function. Depending on its shape, a protein's function may be transporting vital nutrients, powering photosynthesis, or infecting other cells like the spike receptor proteins on SARS-CoV-2. Let's shrink down and take a closer look. This is a coronavirus spike protein. It may seem like a single molecular blob, but if we unfold the twists and turns, we can see that proteins are long chains of smaller molecules called amino acids. You can think of amino acids as students in a classroom. In total, there are 20 types of students. Each have their own personalities and needs. Some are friends with one another, others frenemies. Some want to stay on the outside near the water molecules. Others hate water and stay on the inside. If the students aren't happy, the class cannot function. To fix this, the class moves around in a process called folding. Naturally, proteins fold into the shape with the happiest amino acids. This is the native shape and allows the class to continue and the protein to function. But there is an issue. Normal proteins are chains of hundreds to thousands of needy amino acids. This is the problem with protein folding. The many interactions make it incredibly complicated to predict how a sequence of amino acids folds into its native shape, but not impossible. By simulating the many interactions of a protein, we can predict how proteins fold into their native shapes and what functions they serve. This allows us to design never before seen proteins with awesome functions like curing COVID-19. The best part is you can help too. Want to fold proteins on your computer? Rosetta and Folding at Home use your computer's power to simulate viral coronavirus proteins and potential designs for cures. Want to design your own proteins? Through a game called Fold It, I'm designing new proteins that can plug up a coronavirus spike receptor, preventing it from infecting a human cell. There's still a lot of progress to be made in the protein folding problem, but with help from curious people like you, we may finally be able to do the impossible, cracking the code that builds life itself.